The specific rotation of R plus limonene, a major component in the oil that's extracted from citrus peels, is plus 115. If the observed specific rotation of a mixture of the R limonene and the S limonene is plus 92%, what percent of limonene is present as the R enantiomer? Okay, <laughs> so quite a few things we need to think about here. So the first thing we want to notice is that the R is positive. So if we have an excess of the positive enantiomer, the overall mixture is going to have a positive rotation. If you had an excess of the negative, the S limonene, then our overall mixture would have a negative rotation. So we notice that our overall mix rotates light in the positive direction. So that means we have an excess of the positive enantiomer. And now positive and negative refers to how it rotates the light. So sometimes you will find the S enantiomer is the positive one, sometimes it'll be the R. That's because the, the positive and negative is a physical property and R and S are names that we as chemists give them and they basically don't care what we name them, they're gonna do what they do in solution. Okay, but we have, to, we have information that tells us specifically that the R enantiomer is the positive one. So we know that we have an excess of the, of the R enantiomer. And so we know that because the overall rotation is positive. But to find out the actual breakdown of S and R, we need the excess. Okay, so we need to know the percent enantiomeric excess or percent EE. So that would be your observed rotation divided by the rotation of the pure enantiomer. So your observed rotation divided by that rotation of your pure enantiomer times 100%. So that means that we are looking at 92 divided by 115 times 100%. Okay, so you might be able to do that in your head or maybe you're gonna wanna bring out a calculator here and just quickly say 92 divided by 115 and multiply that by 100 and so we'll see that that's 80%. Okay, so 80% is our excess. So in excess of what? So that means in excess of the racemic because the portion of this is canceling out. That's why that your, your observed rotation is lower than the pure rotation because some of it is being canceled by the enantiomer. So 80% EE means that you have definitely 80% of excess R and we say it's R because we know that R is positive and we know that overall is positive, so it's telling us that it's R. And then we have 20% that is racemic, right? Just because we know the total has to be 100%. So of this 20, if it's racemic, it's a 50-50 mixture. So that means you divide it by two and find out that in there you've got 10% R and 10% S. So that overall, this solution is 90% R and 10% S, right? So to get the 90, you're adding this and, and sorry, this, and then the R is just that one, right? So what are we being asked for? We're being asked what percent is present as the R enantiomer. So if we look down here, we've identified that as 90. So that is option B.